Welcome back. So I'm going to get rid of these two examples here, the two extremes, and we're just going to deal with this one from here on. Now, the the wood that you're going to be using is going to be a 23 inch square piece of half inch plywood. And right now this is 23 inches across. Um, that's that's what I told it to do when I created the height field. But this is obviously longer than 23 this way. So what I'm going to do is create a box and I'm going to start the box command and make sure that my near snap is selected and now I can sort of specify where I want the box to start uh, but notice that if I start the box right now it's going to start along this edge somewhere and it won't gather whatever's below it and I actually want this box to start on the base so what I'm going to do is hit my project snap as well and now that gives me a preview you can see that white line is telling me that it's projecting to the construction plane below so wherever I I start this box now that's my first input and the second side I'm gonna just simply type 23 and so that gives me 23 as a width and I'm gonna t type 23 again and so now I've got a square section and I'm gonna just type 23 again for the height now this box is, is uh, at the edge on both sides of the surface and you can see that there's a little bit left over and that's what I'm going to cut. So if I go to solid intersection and then select the box and then the surface it'll give me the intersection between those two and create something that's enclosed as you can see below. Now this um, this object right now, or this this uh, this setup, is uh, quite a bit taller than than the wood that we're going to be using. So if I were to take a measurement right now and just snap and snap, that's 4.7. That's um, this is a lot more height than we're going to get with our four pieces of half inch plywood, right? We're going to have about two inches of space to play with. So what I want to do is actually just scale this down in just the height direction. I'll just type scale 1D so it's one dimensional scale the origin point I'm gonna use I'm gonna turn on my end snap turn off my near snap turn that off too so just my end snap is selected and I'm gonna snap to the corner and then my second uh, my second point is actually not gonna be a click it's just gonna be a scale factor instead so I wanna just type uh, let's say 0.5 and for the second click now I wanna make sure that I'm going straight up use the shift key if I need to and then left click to end that command so now I'm quite a bit closer to where I need to be as far as my my height that'll make more sense when I do my contours next okay so contours type con tour for the options at the top you want to make sure that join curves is set to by contour plane if it's not you can just left click in here and it'll give you options here so make sure by contour plane is selected uh, also you want to make sure that these are grouped here so that each contour all the lines on each contour are going to be grouped and that'll make it easier to move things around so now it says select objects for contours I want to use my surface click uh, enter and now the contour base plane this is um, base point is the first um, contour that I'm going to create so what height is that going to be at I could turn off my snap if I wanted to but I'm just going to leave it on for this and I'm going to just set it right there um, the second click that I'm going to do is going to give me a direction and I'm going to go straight up and then finally the distance between the contours this is pretty crucial so I'm, I'm going to set it at 0.5 because that's our half inch wood and run the command and there we go so we've created our contours as you can see now you'll also notice I've, I've, I've got some extra curves down here that it's a bug in this command and you'll notice that when I select them it also selects what's happening up, up top there so what I'm gonna do is um, run a command 
if I just uh, left click on this group icon here and use this command called remove from group select the objects to remove that's what I want to remove and press enter when done so these are no longer grouped with what's happening up here and I can delete these finally one last thing that we need to look at here is this contour command didn't actually create contours throughout the whole object so you'll see here for instance I've, I've selected one of these contour lines that goes across and you'll notice that right here it's completely missing the model it actually does it I think down below here as well yeah right here there's a couple gaps in some of those lines so the, the other two lines should be fine so that looks okay I think the top one is probably okay as well it'll just it'll depend a lot on your on your actual surface so we're gonna fix this manually and to do that we're gonna type section again we want to make sure that this is set to yes join curves by section plane that looks good and assign layers uh, current layer should be okay so I'm going to select one of these problem curves that I've got here and you gotta zoom in fairly good to actually be able to select it actually I'm sorry <laughs> once I started this up it's asking me to select the object to section I don't want to section these lines I want to section the actual surface so I'm gonna select the surface press enter and make sure that extend sections is set to yes so now I'm hovering close to this contour that I'd originally created and when it says near I'm gonna click and then I, I just need to give it a direction doesn't matter which way I go but you'll notice that I'm snapping to the grid right now and I want to make sure that I'm going horizontal so just hit the shift key and that'll create my first contour or my first section rather and then I'm gonna do the same for the second area that gave me a problem as well and then click to end that and so now I have two lines that are sort of one on top of the other two two contours or two sections and you'll notice that I can select between one and the, and the other and this is a good one you can see that it actually extends throughout this is the one that doesn't so that's what I'm gonna select and I'm gonna just delete that so now I just have the good one right there right I'm gonna do the same thing down below here and again you might have to zoom in a little bit to actually be able to select it at the same time you don't want to zoom in so far that you can't see what's happening and that can be tricky sometimes again that's the group that I want to get rid of you can see how it doesn't extend here so that's what I want to select and I'm going to delete that and now again I just have one good cross section going across so to uh, yeah we're gonna get rid of this poly surface we don't need any more we can just hide that now I'm ready to 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 go to print before I do that though I'm going to just mock this up so I'm gonna select everything here and go to surface extrude curve straight you want to make sure that cap is set to yes and then the extrusion distance is going to be exactly what we used for our contours so 0.5 is what you want to use and then press enter and it's now going to extrude and create closed uh, volumes from that 